Hey Reddit. What are some common facts that people believe to be true even if the existing evidence states the contrary? I don't care about evidence. For more videos like and subscribe. A lot of people think they can burn belly fat by doing crunches or slim their arms down by doing push-ups. But targeted fat loss isn't possible and there's no evidence to suggest it is. Yeah. Ab workouts just build up your core muscle and burn calories. The kitchen is where you lose the belly fat. True. One analogy for this I heard involves a pool of water and a bucket. If you take water out of the pool with the bucket burning calories to burn fat. Even if you scoop in one place it will remove water evenly across the pool. Some people's genetics store fat more in certain parts of the body and you can't spot reduced body fat. You can tap a block to see if it is loose in Jenga which is stated quite explicitly in the rules and frick you everyone who said I couldn't. E, wait what the frick this blew up for no reason. It's not out until it's free of the system or it falls. I remember you can even try to put it back before it's out to try a different one. Maybe that's house rules, though. People believe you can't? The most violent arguments I've had have been convincing patients with a viral cold that they don't need antibiotics. I remember a documentary a few years back about a GP's practice here in the UK. Basically filming patients with their permission to show a day to day. They literally had people come in and answer, what's the matter today? With, I need some antibiotics. They didn't even elaborate on why. Just, I need some antibiotics. The mother of one of my friends fed long expired like. Decade old antibiotics to their new puppy after the vet said it probably picked up a parasite. Poor dog suffered for weeks with this treatment until she decided to take it in to get the parasite removed. She also forced my friend to fake his symptoms as something else so the doctors would give him antibiotics instead of something to treat what they thought was a viral infection. A person drowning is not likely to be flailing wildly and yelling like in the movies. Drowning can often happen with mostly silence. Especially with kids. Read up on the signs. It might save a life. I was drowning and lost consciousness when I was five. I was told I barely made a sound. I went under. Sucked in lungs full of water when I tried to cry out in surprise and blacked out. If it wasn't for my dad's instincts and quick action I'd be dead. The sight spot the drowning child is a terrifying, but manageable, way to learn this. Feel like I've heard this one before. Maybe it's just an important fact people share and a very common incident to take place. That 30 used to be considered ancient back when the average lifespan was 25 or whatever. The average is offset by a huge number of child deaths. 30 was never ancient. Even hunter-gatherer societies had people routinely living into their 60s. It is rarely necessary to wait 24 hours before filing a missing person report. Yup. Our police has this listed on their Facebook page as a common myth. Yeah. It seems rather stupid that you'd wait a whole day to file a missing person report. By the way, do you know what's the minimum waiting period? Cracking your knuckles too often will give you arthritis. Nope. No conclusive study has ever backed this up. It just releases the gas from the synovial fluid in your joints. Which is neither good nor bad. There is in fact a guy who spent 60 years cracking the knuckles on his left hand twice daily and there was no resulting difference in his hands. Oh that's good to know. As a kid I just accepted my fate because I liked the crack sound. Vikings never actually drank from skulls of enemies. This was based on a mistranslation of Old Norse poetry in which they refer to drinking from horns. They never had horns on their helmets either. Also, they did not wear helmets with horns. This idea comes from the way they were represented in a particularly influential opera. That if you touch a baby animal, like a bird or rabbit, its mother will neglect it and it will die. That is a myth. It was just a way for parents to get their kids to leave baby animals alone. Yeah. A few weeks ago, a baby bird fell out of its nest in our backyard. It survived and my dad was going to put it out of its misery until I told him that this myth wasn't true. 
We put it in a cardboard box on the table closest to its tree with some food and water and just left it alone. Its parents found it the next day and were bringing it food. And within a couple of days, it was gone. Birds. Yes. But it does happen with mammals. Just a couple of years ago, a couple of idiot tourists tried to save a baby bison they thought was in danger of freezing. When rangers brought it back, the rest of the herd rejected it. You also get issues where a cat is brought to the vet and when they bring it back home. Other cats in the house treat it like a stranger due to scent changes. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. In fact it does. And frequently. You don't want to be there when it happens. If it didn't, lightning rods would be useless. People often confuse an independent media for an unbiased one. The most people only use 10% of their brain's capacity thing. Utterly ridiculous. The brain is a giant. Metabolically expensive. Staggeringly complex structure, why on earth would our bodies grow something like that and then not use it? You're almost certainly right. But it just makes me think of my friend that bought a two pounds. 500 MacBook and only uses it for word and web browsing. It's the main plot point in the movie, Lucy, with Scarlett Johansson. Watching Morgan Freeman using this as a scientific explanation for her superpowers was cringe-inducing.